one of the worst type of people to get involved with is a narcissist. If you're lucky enough to never have had to tango with one of them, I envy you. I'm somebody that has dealt with one in the past and I learned a lot about myself and relationships and emotions through my experience of dealing with that person. I'm gonna give you five ways to protect yourself from a narcissist. The first one is probably the most important and that's move slow. You've seen in videos before where I always say, be slow to hire and quick to fire. That's one of my slogans. And it came from dealing with the person that I dealt with in the past. I can tell you that a narcissist's secret weapon is moving fast. Why? Because there's gonna be a day when they're gonna expose themselves and they have to get you in deep water where you can't walk away before you figure out who they are. Move slow. That is the only way to really, truly be able to protect yourself from a narcissist. They can only last for so long with the charades and, and the, the, uh, the image that they put forth. They're representative. They can only do that for so long. So the longer you wait before you get in too deep with somebody, before you fall in love with them, before you move in with them, have a baby with them, get a car with them, a house with them, <laughs> the better off you will be. They'll expose themselves before that happens. Number two, don't be impressed by their nice things. Don't be impressed with the way they dress. Don't be impressed with the nice car, with the nice house. You'll find that all of those things are cover-ups. They have to have those things in order to feel good about themselves. So they lead with those things. And if you fall for the bait, they got you. Narcissistic people, they're very smart. They know how to get you. They study people. They know what to do, what to say, how to dress, what to buy to get, get somebody attention. And as soon as they get you on the hook, they know they got you. If they can get you to fall for the bins, if they can get you to fall for the nice restaurants, the nice hotels, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if they can get you to fall for how they dress, that's what they're counting on. That surface level garbage that don't mean nothing. Of course, everybody want to have nice things. That's why it's so effective for them because they look like they're the successful people in this world. They carrying themselves like they're successful and they got it all so that you will buy into them. Because if not, they feel worthless. They're empty people attempting to fill themselves with materialistic things. And if you fall for the bait, they got you. Number three, trust but verify. When you meet somebody, they're gonna tell you about themselves. They're gonna tell you about their past. They're gonna tell you what their hopes and dreams are. They're gonna tell you all kind of different things. The problem with a narcissistic person is that you can't believe hardly anything they tell you. They are compulsive liars. They'll have you thinking the world of them. And if you're a people pleaser, you wanna think the best of them. You wanna think the best about everybody. And they're counting on that. That's why people pleasers and narcissistic people always end up together. A people pleaser is the best victim for them because they'll you will listen. You will look at them and be like, oh, I, I believe him. He's sincere. Narcissistic people are great at playing emotional games. They're great actors. They will make you feel like everything they say is true. They can tell you they was in the mob. They can tell you that <laughs> they was an actor back in the day. They was in a they was in commercials and stuff like that. And they'll show you things like, look, this is me right here. And you be like, it kind of look like them. That ain't them people. Trust but verify everything that people tell you. 
Don't believe none of what you hear. Only believe what you see. That goes for anybody that you dating. You don't know you got you a narcissist until you do these five things because they're going to expose themselves. Number four, do not engage in arguments. You're going to have a disagreement with most anybody that you deal with, right? But a narcissistic person, their arguments are different. They feed on your energy by arguing with you. If they can get you to get in a shouting match with them, they love it. It almost get their rocks off. That's how they feel good about themselves. They feel good knowing that they can pull your strings and get you to snap on them. To get you to spaz out, to slam your doors and, and speed off in your car. They love that. That's entertainment. So be the kind of person, of course, to speak your mind. But when you see a, a, a conversation starting to, to bubble up to become something deeper, it's getting worse. It's going gonna, it's gonna to turn into, OK, I'm about to lose my cool. Reel it back in. Walk away. Count to 10. Go for a drive. Hang up the phone. Stop replying to the text messages. Whatever you got to do. But do not engage further. You think you're going to get your point across? Never. A narcissistic person don't care about nothing but what they care about and how they feel. They ain't going to listen to you and, and, and be like, oh, okay, you right. I was wrong. If a narcissistic person do that to you, they doing it so they can set you up. And I'm going to tell you this. When you argue, it makes them feel good inside. When you don't argue, it makes them angry. They're going to try you harder. They're going to push your buttons harder. They're going to do whatever they can to try to get you to get out of character. You know you don't want to deal with nobody like that. And because you're moving slow and you ain't fell in love with them and fell for the lies and fell for the allure of the nice things, you can walk away, right? Number five. This kind of goes along with the whole arguing thing. Say what you mean and mean what you say. If I tell you how I feel, if I tell you what I think, that's it. When it comes to how what I'm gonna do and what I'm not gonna do, when we having a conversation, if you tell me, hey, uh, can you loan me a thousand dollars? No. Oh, um, you know, I, I got, I get back to you on Friday. You know, I got it. You see the bins. You see the, the nice apartment on the 16th floor? You can let me hold that real quick. No. Say what you mean, mean what you say. Because if you tell somebody, nah, I ain't doing that. I can't loan you that thousand. And then they keep working on you and keep working on you. And then you finally mess around and give it up. You just open up the floodgates. You're going to have to loan money all the time. And that brings me to number six, the bonus. Never allow yourself to get in too deep before you really get to know somebody. Narcissistic people, their MO is to get you to get in deep with them, get you to invest too much of your time, your energy, your money, your resources into them so that whenever they show who they truly are, you can't walk away. Because you feel like I don't put in too much. That's what they're counting on. And that's all I got to say about that. Y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Share it. And I will see y'all on the next one.